Mario. Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about roleplay games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. Now I know I was just in the middle of my Earthbound Let's Play and I really love that game. It's just that for some reason I wasn't really like into Let's Playing it, you know? And so I just decided that I feel like you guys would rather watch me play a game that I enjoy than slog through a game that... I'm not having as much fun playing, and it's not like I don't like the game, it's probably in my top 20 games, it's just that I just want to move on to another game for now, and we'll probably come back to that game later. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Ciao, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. And we're right into it. We can we have this sign right here. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press A to jump, Z to crouch, and B to punch. Read a sign or grab something. Press B again to throw something you're holding. So yeah, I'll go ahead and just quickly get through this intro, this intro part, because it's just tutorials on how to move around like this. Climbing's easy. When you jump at trees, poles, or pillars, you'll grab them automatically. Press A to jump off backward. To rotate around the object, press right or left on the control stick when you reach the top. Press up to do a handstand. Jump off from the handstand for a high style and dismount. So yeah, we can go ahead and jump on trees. And... Yeah, this was Mario's first foray into 3D. Is that even the right word? Uh, so yeah, it's given you some very basic movement instructions. And yeah, this opening part, you just have to go to the castle, but I want to kind of walk around the outside and just show off a bunch of different stuff. Because I feel like everyone just immediately goes into the castle. And so I just want to appreciate this outside part for a bit. Hold Z to crouch and slide down a slope, or press Z while in the air to pound the ground. If you stop, crouch, then jump, you'll do a backward somersault. Got that? There's more. Crouch, then jump to do a long jump, or crouch and walk to... never mind. So yeah, we have the crouch, the backflip, the ground pound, and even the long jump. You can also hold down the Z button, and you can crawl around. This is always my go-to game whenever I'm just like, huh, I'm bored and I don't know what video games to play or what to do. I'm just like, eh, I'll play through Mario 64 again. We have Lakitu here. Good afternoon. The Lakitu bros here, reporting live from just outside prin the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. A seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the, the surroundings, stop and press C. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R buttons. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been Lactu Bros. So yeah. Also, I'm playing on the Wii Virtual Console version, which is why things look so dark. But it's just easier for recording and stuff. But I might say um, the controls for the N64 version. Like earlier I said, you know, Z to long jump and stuff like that. And it's different in the Wii Virtual Console version. But my mind always just asso associates the controls with the Nintendo 64. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram and don't come back. And this is Princess Peach's castle. Not a lot of people here, and 
Toad over here will explain why. Am I glad to see you, the princess, and I, and, well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser's stolen the castle stars. Should I do the Toad voice? I don't even know if I can. Bow uh, Bowser stole the castle star! I, I can't do the Toad voice. And he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one with the painting of Bo of. There are four rooms on the first floor. Start in the one with the painting of Bob Bomb inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with a big star. The princess must be inside. So yeah, we've got a bunch of different doors, but Bowser still sealed them off with the star power. And yeah, that's our main collectible in this game, the stars. And that's usually the collectible for most Mario games. We hurl our body into this painting and we get transported to the first world, Big bob -omb Battlefield. Or I think it was just bob -omb Battlefield. I don't know, the big makes it sound more exciting and fun, I guess. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the bob -omb buddy, press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in the other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. So you got this guy right here. Watch out, if you wander around here, you're, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob bombs love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob bomb got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big bob bomb. Please come back to see me after you've retrieved the power star. We'll do so, and we have this guy over here. Hey you, it's dangerous up ahead, so listen up, take my advice. Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bob bomb is at the top of the mountain. The big bob bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful. Don't let him grab you. We're bob -omb buddies, and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you'd like to. So yeah, they're our friends. The pink bob bombs are good, and the black bob bombs are king bob bombs. Bob bombs, like this guy over here. We can pick him up, shock him, and he explodes and gives us a coin. Right over here we have the the second most terrifying thing in this game, the Chain Chomp. Fun fact, this gave me nightmares when I was a kid. There's a level in the DS version of this game where Chain Chomp is off of his chain, and that level just scared me so much that I had a nightmare where it chased me around and it bit my arm off. I had some weird dreams when I was younger. If I can recall any of them, I'll let you know. For some reason, that dream always stuck with me. Anyways, as we're heading up this hill, this will Whoop. I did not mean to fall. But I guess this is a good place to introduce a mechanic that's not really intentional in this game, but it's a good speedrun tactic. It's called silly kicking. Basically, what you have to do is you have to run at a hill, hold down the A button, and while you're still holding it down, spam the B button. You'll start kicking up the hill, but you don't want to gain too much momentum, or else you'll just dive and slide down. Whoop. You gotta be careful of those things. Also, this right here will become very important later. We have another black bob bomb. Wanna grab it? Chuck it off the cliff. Rest in peace. Continuing up, we have this heart here, and as the sign will explain, Collect as many coins as possible, but it will fill your power meter. You can check to see how many coins you've collected in each of the 15 enemy worlds. You can also recover power by touching the spinning heart. The faster you run through the heart, the more power you'll recover. So yeah, gain up a bunch of speed, walk through it, and if you're low on health, then you should use that, or else, you know, you'll probably have a bit of trouble up ahead with our first boss, the King bob -omb, or as he's called in this game, the Big bob -omb. I'm the Big Babom, Lord of all blasting matter, King of Kabooms, the world over. 
How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp, and you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. First boss fight, you just have to walk behind him, pick him up, and you you might want to chuck him off the side, but he is not having any of that. He's a better jumper than Mario. You must fight with honor. It is against the ugh. you must fight with honor. It is against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. So yeah, you just want to pick him up from behind and chuck him to the ground. If we can't break the rules, instead we'll break his back. When he starts being able to just circle around you, you want to flip over. Did, did that sentence make any sense? Basically, if you start walking around him and he's looking at you the entire time and you can't get behind him, you might want to just flip around him. Like I'll probably have to do here. Whoop. So yeah, just flip behind him, and he is finished. Wh what? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the big ba bomb? Or the ba bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks me troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. And we get our first power star. Here we go! The classic here we go with the peace sign and the Mario head fading out. I think that's a good place to end the video off on. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Well, you've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor in the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. We'll continue that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hop right back into Bob Bomb Battlefield with Big Bob Bomb. Well, now he's diffused, but we'll hop right back in and we'll see what other stars we can get. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!